Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to look at part three of the Department 56 Christmas Lane Village. And today we're gonna to take the joint compound and apply that to the bases and uh, use that to model snow drifts and snow piles and things like that. Once I'm done with that, we'll let that dry uh, and then we'll be ready to put the glue and the snow mixture on and uh, we'll be one step closer to wrap in this village up. So with that, let's jump right in and take a look at applying the joint compound. Okay, I've taken the joint compound, which is the ultra lightweight we got at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, I put about three big scoops in and then I added a little water to mix it in to get to a sort of a, it's not a runny consistency by any stretch of the imagination, but it is more of a uh, well mixed consistency uh, and able to use that to apply. So with that, I'm just gonna take a spoonful and start uh, applying this uh, as snow drifts up through here. Okay, so that's the joint compound on one of the four piece sections. I'm gonna do the other four piece section and then I'll come back and show you how uh, one it looks after it's done and then we'll go through the uh, Christmas tree farm and put some joint compound on that. And then that should be everything. And then what I need to do then at, at that point is let everything dry. So let me do the next four foot section. And then once I get done with that, we'll do the Christmas tree farm. Okay, I'm uh, ready to put the uh, joint compound onto the Christmas tree farm, so I'm going to do that as well. Okay, that's pretty thin. Uh, so it's going to take that a little while to dry, but you sort of see the the texture there of what it looks like. And then let me show you the other pieces, and then uh, I'll put these out and let them dry. Here's the other four foot section. You can see how the snow looks like it's piled up in front of the walkways. And then that will dry. Uh, and then uh, we'll be back uh, after that. Okay, welcome back. So the project took a little bit more than uh, a few hours to dry. I put that uh, joint compound on pretty thick. And so it's taken just about 24 hours for me to be able to uh, let this harden enough to be able to paint it. So uh, what I wanna do is I'll show it to you. This is the Christmas tree farm here. And you can see that the uh, it is now uh, hard enough to, to paint. And it looks pretty good. 
Uh, it looks like piled uh, drifted snow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of walk you through the way that I'm going to uh, paint that. I'm gonna paint it with white paint. So when I put the snow over top, it, it seems to be a little bit more realistic versus the, the off white color that it is now. I've already painted the other bigger pieces and I'm letting those dry. Uh, so I'll show you how to paint this one, same concept on all of them. And then once we're done uh, painting it and letting that dry, we'll go into probably the fourth tutorial and that it'll be uh, adding the snow and then uh, final details. So with that, uh, let's jump right in and look at how we're gonna paint this. Okay, so I've got a small brush and I've got some white paint here and I'm just gonna paint around the edges. Um, where it meets the gravel. It's just easier to do with a small brush here in this area. Okay, so I think that'll be uh, sufficient for now, and we'll let this dry. Okay, so you're able to see how I painted that to get the off-white color joint compound to turn more of a white, to kind of blend in with the snow that I'm gonna put down, and that way it's not so obvious that it's different or it looks uh, unrealistic. And so I did that uh, on the video for you to see, but like I said, I did that on the other four foot sections a little bit previous, just to check and make sure that it was dry enough to paint. Those turned out the same exact way, same exact concept, the little brush to go around the edges next to the sidewalk, and then the bigger brush to go around the, the bigger parts and cover more uh, area at a time. So those are gonna dry, and then we'll come back to part four of the tutorial, and we'll look at actually putting the snow uh, down, the glue in the snow, and then uh, and secure it that way. Part five, I think we'll finish this up and I hope to have that done no later than tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I wanna be able to display this uh, prior to us eating uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So you'll be along for the ride for all of that. So, hey, if you've liked what you've seen in this video, click the like button. And again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and consider doing that. Certainly helps me to uh, stay motivated and keep these videos coming out. Also, keep the comments coming. I love to hear what you guys are thinking. If there's a certain thing that you'd like to see or something that you want to know more about, ask in the comments. Um, certainly take time to read all those and appreciate it. So until we talk again, take care. We'll see you guys real soon. Mm -hmm.